Tomorrow is our last day for temperatures in the 50s. We have some clouds streaking across the sky that's going to slow our cooling down tonight, but we're still at 40 degrees with partly cloudy conditions. Light winds out of the west feels like 37 degrees once you factor the wind chill, so not much of a wind chill. So 40 in Pittsburgh and Washington. Waynesburg is 35 degrees. Latrobe and Greensburg at 41. 45 from Indiana, and then cools off a little bit, containing into Butler. But overall, these temperatures hanging out in the 40s in most cases through the night. Our temps dip down into the lower 30s here in Pittsburgh. Most spots low to mid 30s by the time we wake up tomorrow morning. These temperatures are closer to what you would expect for a high temperature uh, for this time of year. So that gives us a warm start for the day tomorrow to get those temperatures back into the 50s for the afternoon. And then the numbers start to come down. We'll stay pretty warm into the evening and we'll hold off the rain until pretty late. So most of the day is going to be dry. And then late tomorrow night, early Thursday, that cold front comes in, brings in the colder air and our temperatures continue to drop right through Thursday. So it'll be a much colder setup. Thursday and Friday and into the weekend and early next week temperatures are going to be very cold. We've been able to see clear skies with just a couple clouds mixing in from time to time over the course of the night, but when it comes down to it, we're going to see more clouds. I think from this point into early tomorrow than not, but we're going to see a clearing take place in a little more sunshine tomorrow before this system comes in. And over the next few days, we have two things coming in. First of all, this system that's going to bring in, first of all, the warmer temperatures tomorrow in the clouds. Late tomorrow, some rain and on the other side, some snow. Second system that gets its act together that moves in. This one is going to set us up for a wintry mix. We're going to go from snow to a mix to rain to a mix and back to snow between Friday and early Sunday. So Futurecast here shows us the first system that's coming into play. We get the clouds on and off through the course of the morning into the evening hours. This is 5 p.m. on the clock, mind you. Some spotty showers. Those hang out until after midnight and then the colder air rushes in, turning on some snow showers. Those scattered snows will be with us on and off through your Thursday, but just know that in Pittsburgh, we're not not really anticipating accumulation as you get into lake effect country. That's where we're going to see a little more one to two inches not out of the question. So you can see those snow shower accumulations around the edges. But here in Pittsburgh, I think most of this snow is going to melt on contact T tonight. 32 degrees, partly cloudy skies and tomorrow we get back up to the lower 50s. This does come with increase in clouds and the showers hold off until late around dinner time. So you can see here it's a nice buildup of temperatures, a nice dry day, peaks of sunshine in there. Then once we get to five, six o'clock, that's where the rain showers work back in. Still some scattered light snow for Pittsburgh, snow showers for the ridges and north of I-80 as we head into Thursday. Thursday, Friday, a quiet day in 32 degrees, but Friday night into Saturday, that next system comes in, bringing that wintry mix. Still scattered snow left over on Sunday, but you'll notice next week, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, it's temperatures in the 20s, and it looks like this colder air is going to stick around for a while. And remember, with all this going on, the KDK Weather app is a great tool to have an interactive radar, hourly forecast, daily forecast, alerts, and more. Just search CBS Pittsburgh in the App Store and in Google Play.